Well, it's a bit personal because growing up I read a lot of comics. Uh, it was like Spider-Man, Wolverine, the X-Men, which admittedly does have one girl in them, but still it was very, like always focused on boys and their experiences and struggles and very violent, very like uh, majestic, very all those things you imagine when you think of comics. And I really like when I, as I grew older, I realized there are more and more women characters appearing in comics, and I realized that it's hard to connect to them because I have this other experience of connecting to the other kind of coolness in comics and I wanted to create something uh, that would be appealing to my young self. Like something that I would read uh, when I was a little girl, something that wouldn't just be totally one-sided and just telling one... Mm. Yeah, as a complex figure, not just... Uh... And you created this or this is just proposal or you will work? This man and Monica and uh, this will be your heroes in your comics? Well, maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, it was mostly about creating those characters and putting them in some sort of situation. These are uh, like imaginary covers for a comic. And like, what would it be about? Uh, what would the characters be like? And it was, but the, mo the most of the work was uh, designing them and thinking mm -hmm. about how I wanted to present something like that. You have two. Uh, yes. Two um, uh, characters. characters. Yeah, uh, one is a little girl, and she's. Um, I wanted to make her in a way that she's just a normal child. So if she does whatever a child does. It doesn't not uh, irrelevant to gender. Like she has bruises, she has scraps, she has a missing tooth. Mm -hmm. she, she's just a kid. <coughs> and the other character is like a. So it's a bit of a fantasy thing in there as well. She's like a doll that has set, been set free by her own strength, uh, that's that's why she has scissors and she's cutting the string and stuff like that, and that's a reference to... Oh, something. okay, I yeah. see now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, this is a reference to a line in some of the world's book, which ref uh, references like women and girls being as dolls. So that yes. uh. they are always like being put somewhere, they're always being dressed, they're always being like something is being done to them. They have no agency in their own, so I wanted to make a little play on that and make a doll that is like totally free and but you know <laughs> like she evolved past it. But I hope you will continue that you will get some new characters. Yeah. I hope so too. <laughs> we should encourage you.